On. Uh, we're almost there. Eleven or 108 and uh, getting to 113. That was actually very fast. Because uh, we were about a quarter way done right at like 10 minutes. Hey, finish that. Yeah, track. Uh, I want to put this in my prayer so I can get my 43 prayer. Okay. I shouldn't have done that. I said I wouldn't do that before, but uh, okay, it's only 79 XP, it's not much. Uh, I broke my rules. <laughs> I didn't pick up any of these seeds. This is like auto bank for me? I don't know what the fuck to do with that bank. Okay, so let's go to Birth Lord. Actually, Tavern Lee might be the quicker. Dungeoneering tutorial is down here. Talk to this person. I want to do the Dungeoneering tutorial, please. Yes, please. Can I get a tutorial, though? I kind of did Dungeoneering back in the day, but I also did not know what to do. So I want the tutor. We need an adventure. Before we carry on, let me give you this. Hands you a ring. What is this place? This place of treasure, fierce ba uh, battles, and bitter defeats. We fought our way into the dungeons beneath this place. Those of us who made it out alive, call it Themenheim. I guess, tell me about the achievement system. Very well, the, the achievement system is a collection of deeds you may wish to complete while adventuring around the world. Uh, reading these forsaken dungeons can be a lot more rewarding if you're fighting alongside friends and allies. Yeah, I don't have people I know. We also set up room specific purpose, finding a party for you, also, or would you like to need to show you the fastest way? Sure. You have just entered a dungeon in the starting room, you'll find a smuggler to trade with. Uh, no, because I said there was no shop. So, uh, and some starting supplies in your inventory. Yeah, I see that. And about the room, if you want to leave, you okay. Also, what are these? Oh, he's right here. Um, guess I'll take all of those. I don't know. You picked up key dungeoneering. T <laughs> Fuck you. One hit kill. But I think I might be able to sell him to that guy. Sorry, but I don't have anything to sell. Okay, well, it might be a little over leveled for like. Eh, it might not be. He's only a little 28, and I am 51. I still have to do that broken home quest that I. Okay, so dungeoning isn't. Who bad at least level one, obviously. Obviously level one's not gonna be too bad. But because I think I finished it. Woo! Uh, you've unlocked feature, you've been playing level four. I'm a little fast. Okay, let's do another one. Last one there. Alright, so. Let me explain a little bit with this. Uh, with the quest list, it is uh, the numbers on the right side are how many quest points I get. Um, I could do this one a lot earlier, but I want to make sure I do Gertrude's Cat, uh, Priest in Peril, Restless Ghost, Ruin Mysteries, some of these specifically so we can, so I can uh, get them done. But uh, so we can. Because uh, we'll need some of these. Uh, but let's get started, I guess. All we needed was uh, some combat and some food, it said. So let me just grab a couple lobsters. I did get the uh, Golden Party hat uh, while I was just grinding uh, <laughs> different skills. Um, I have 95 uh, fire making now. Um, I Still have a couple skills to get above 10. 
I want to mean a couple. I mean three, it looks like. So, not too terrible. Um, I need to move my camera down a little. That was the wrong thing to do. I needed to get some lobsters. That's what I was doing. Let's get just ten lobsters because I don't really need. I'm sure I don't need too many. Uh, Teller to Falador. We're doing uh, what's your or what's mine is yours, which I believe is a rework of another quest. Yeah, Dorix quest. For you, for those who uh, have played old school RuneScape, but not. I'm gonna move my mic a little bit. Uh, but not RS3. There's a bunch of reworks. Uh, when we're voice acted, yeah. It's over. It's over. You should be able to hear it. Um, I also want to make sure. Yeah, okay. Everything should be good. My business, my life, everything. It's all in ruins. Uh, I think I'm going to do it on my end here. I'm going to modify my muse, the no music on my end. Okay. Uh, don't worry, I'll help you. Aquariums, just some food and some equipment. That's really nice where it tells you what you need to have. Okay. So I need to find... Okay, let's read the map. Uh, okay, so just south of Varrock. Uh, we could do the Dwarven Mines first. I, I, okay, so it's a good thing that I've gone through... This area before, like uh, getting the lodestone and stuff, so we can tell about around pretty fast. That's inventions. Oh, there's an easy way up now. That's good. Um, I'm gonna actually turn some graphic settings down. Uh, let's go to go to high. See, okay. 60, okay, we'll, we'll leave that as compressed, whatever. Ultra distance, move roofs, I want to keep that. Yeah, sure, that looks good. Because it was uh, stuttering a little bit earlier, so. Careful down there, yeah, okay. I'll avoid the scorpions, which I might actually be a higher level then. Um, and then, does it have a specific? No, it doesn't actually locate, so. In the Dwarven Mine, what do I need to... Can it tell me what I need to do in the Dwarven Mine? Yeah, okay, thank you. Some, So I just need to get some copper and iron, I guess? I don't know. Or copper and tin. Okay. That was a that was a one hit kill. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, I can drop that copper. It's not needed. Okay. So let's go to Varrock. I still need to do Demon Slayer. I don't have that on the list at all. But oh my god, that lag though. Uh, cousin in the back, is that what you said? Nope. Uh, who do I need to talk to? Axel. Isn't that who I was talking to before? No, it was Egil. Who are you? Nope. Uh, Axel. Elof. Axel. Welcome, welcome, my dear lass. I'm Axel, proud artisan and long-suffering inventor. Glad to make your acquaintance. Long-suffering inventor, wow. Um. And look how beautifully made they are. Almost as good as if we made them here ourselves. So, what did Doric want us to do with them? Hey, he told me to bring them here, he could finish them. I would be more than happy to help Doric out. The art of finishing requires a delicate hand. I've used this place before, kind of, on my other account, um, to try to 
grind smithing up. But I don't remember. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, I'm good. I'll probably be back eventually uh, on this account to kind of power level my uh, my smithing up. I kind of want to, I, I want to try to, I want to eventually get to the, uh, the Sixth Age, obviously I will, but I want to try, I want to know the story for the Sixth Age stuff. Uh, ceramic, I think he's up the ladder. Nope, I think he's going to be all the way back down, probably. No, no, ceramic vase. Uh, no. So it's the squire I have to talk to, I assume, then? Again, I should probably listen to what they say, but... Can I help you? Yes, that would be me. Paul Serlin is my full name, but everyone tends to just call me Serlin. Cool. I'm sorry, I think you've had your time wasted. One of Doric's workers is already here and meeting the ceramic as we speak. Uh... He was a dwarf. Good moustache. Looked like he knew how to handle an anvil. There really isn't much more to say. I didn't see his face that well. He had a cloak on. If you're sure this isn't one of Doric's workers, we'd better interrupt this meeting. I'll take those weapons from you. Okay. The quality of these blades is excellent. Thank you, sir. Doric will be pleased to hear that. Yes, Doric is a superb smith, I must say. So we have a deal. You agree to do your business with us. Of course, I'd be happy to use these weapons in the midst of battle. I uh, probably shouldn't. What? Who are you? I'm hurt, yeah. Ah, the old man deserves it. Yes, Ceramic, I've been taking his orders. But these weapons were still oh, made by I see. me. They're better than Doric could ever manage. It's his son, obviously. I will obviously. not have the White Knights deal with fraudsters. Now tell me. The name's Boris. I've just returned from Keldegrin and was thinking of setting up shop here. Oh, you've heard of me. Well, kind of. He he... remembers to talk about me, didn't you? You're a complete letdown. Oh, wow. What an ass. Oh, God. I have to do stuff. Okay. Uh, Tor. Tell Boric how you enjoyed life while. No, well, obviously not. Tell him what your favorite color is. Uh. Doric, tell Boric what you want Boric's future to be. I always imagined you heading to Keldegram, learning the trade there, and then setting up your own. It's an interesting concept of doing stuff. E positive now. Uh, Boric, tell Doric why you slept with a tet. What? Do uh, Boric, tell Doric what you thought of your education. Let's do that. What do you want me to say? It was good, okay? I learned some new techniques and I made some friends. All I ever wanted for you, son, was the best. You would never have got that if you stayed here. I... I suppose I did all right, out of it. Hey. Uh, Doric, tell Boric about your past. Doric, tell Boric what you think about Boric's current attitude. Yeah, that would help. Doric, tell Boric what you hoped sending him away would teach him. 
think that one. Hey, uh, Borak Taldorak, while you wanted to stay here, Borak Taldorak, how you felt let down by uh, when growing up, Borak Tal. Okay, so we're gonna do stayed here because the other two were just terrible. Not by a stranger and Keldegrim. You're the person who I spent my life looking up to. I'm so sorry, Matt. I wanted you to get the best out of life. I never thought to ask what you want. No. Uh, Dork tell Borak what his favorite. Dork tell Borak how you felt bringing Borak up alone. How you felt bringing him up alone. I do, uh, I'm doing so well already, but I don't know this one. Um, guess how hard it was. That was the wrong one. Um, where you've been staying you started resenting now let's talk about what you've had of Keldegrim I like the big city I've got ideas for how to become an even greater smith than you that's my boy I've always wanted you to dream big in a way I suppose okay uh uh Work again. Yes. Thank you. Hey, a cutscene. 